good afternoon from Zerg 406. Headed into Magic Kingdom for the last three hours or so of park hours. Headed in to go on a couple rides, find some new treats, maybe find some new merchandise items. Who knows? Let's go find out. All right, so it is a very rainy day today here at the Ticket and Transportation Center. Uh, it wasn't raining when I got out of my car and then walked over, but right as I went through security, it started coming down. No offense to the ferry boats, but it looks like I'm gonna take the monorail over today and possibly back if it keeps raining like this. Made it to the monorail platform and it is still coming down outside. Monorail is soaked. Look at that. Monorail green in the pouring rain. I hope there's a lot of indoor attractions with short lines right now. It's gonna be interesting. Take a look at this. It is starting to actually come down now. It's not that bad. I've seen way worse here in Florida. It's just a nice rain. Temperature went down too. Wait times are down. I just checked wait times while I was on the monorail and even Space Mountain's only at a 25 minute wait right now. So I might hit that up first. We'll see. Wash your hands often and thoroughly. Covering your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing, and maintain physical distance. So it is 3:30 on a Monday here in October, and this is a very damp, humid, wet, rainy. Probably not too much fun for some people today at Magic Kingdom. For me, it's a jackpot because if it wasn't raining like this, the crowds would be real big and it would be real hot. So I hopped in my car with my umbrella, my rain jacket, my Crocs, and just came to see how it's going. Looks like the lines to get into any of the gift shops are pretty long right now, obviously get some shelter, but let's go see how the rides are. Here's a nice little shot down to the castle. You can see a lot of people just hanging out under whatever they can, not get rained on, and I'm in the middle of the street. But I got my umbrella. I haven't seen it like this in a long time. Normally there's people on each side, tons of people in the middle. Cast members selling balloons. This is a nice change, I like it. All right, so this is where the line starts to get into the Emporium and all the uh, connected shops on the west side of Main Street. Looks like it goes pretty far back. It probably goes past Casey's Corner, I imagine. I saw it a few days ago past Casey's Corner and almost into Adventureland, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was even longer today. Over here on the hub grass, it's not that bad. It's sprinkling now, it's slowed down. A lot of people are still leaving. A lot of people are soaking wet, so. Should be a good night for me. Go on a couple rides, should be fun. So rumor has it, that the people mover 
will not be reopening until either late 2020 or early 2021. Apparently it's in some type of refurbishment that keeps getting pushed back and pushed back. Unlike Spaceship Earth, which was going to close for a refurbishment during the COVID close down and then reopen sometime in 2021, 2022 with all of it done, they just reopened that. As soon as the parks reopened, they just reopened Spaceship Earth, pushed it back to who knows when, but it's open over at Epcot. You can go on it. People Mover, not so much. Every time I've been here, People Mover, Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor have been closed every single time. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice there apparently. But yeah, I'm excited for it to reopen. I love the People Mover just because it's very simple. There's never really a line. And it reminds me of when I was a kid at Disneyland going on the People Mover with my family. I've actually never been on Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin or Tomorrowland Speedway or even the rockets up here and a few other attractions. Would that be an interesting video? Going on attractions I've never been on at Magic Kingdom? Leave a comment below. Unfortunately, by the time I got over here, the rain has kind of settled and Space Mountain jumped to about a 45 minute wait. Uh, but across the way, there's a decent amount of construction. It's the Tron Coaster. I think I'll travel over to Fantasyland real quick. Get some better footage over there. So smash cut to. All right, here we are on the Fantasyland side. Looks like they're slowly but surely putting up that cover over the tracks, the one that's blue and lights up at night. They've actually covered a lot of the track too. Like you can see that white orange covering over the track as well. I don't know if that's to protect it or what it's for, but they've got a lot more on the track right now. Um, yeah. I think they're making really good progress. I was about to get in line for Splash Mountain, but now the logs are coming out empty. Either it's cycling out to be down or they're cleaning the logs not sure yet all right so i'm here at sleepy hollow refreshments not 100 percent sure what i'm gonna get yet but i'm thinking it's the sweet and spicy chicken waffle sandwich it's chicken wrapped in a waffle all right so they got the funnel cake powdered sugar i got the sweet and spicy chicken waffle sandwich and a corn dog with chips, tons of drink options. Then they have the Madame Leota Sipper Cup, $15.99, and a pumpkin spiced Mickey waffle sundae. Waffle, ice cream, whipped cream, caramel drizzle, and sprinkles. All right, so quick review on that fried chicken, sweet, spicy fried chicken waffle sandwich right there at Sleepy Hollow Refreshments. Uh, it was really good. I'd give it a solid eight out of 10. I really didn't like the coleslaw though. I had to scrape that off. The coleslaw really took away from the, the waffle and the, the fried chicken, which was sweet and a little bit spicy, but I also added a ton of maple syrup to it. That made it a little bit better too, but yeah. About eight out of 10. Would have been nine out of 10 if they didn't have that coleslaw. I really didn't like the coleslaw at all. Uh, but the house-made or homemade chips, those are pretty good too. But yeah, all in all, it was a great little snack. I actually found a dry spot right after I picked up my food, so that was very lucky. I know it's been said before, but I'll say it again. Tangled really does deserve more than just a bathroom area. 
after that last little downpour of rain wait time on haunted mansion dropped from 55 to 25 so i'm definitely gonna go in right now hopefully it's about 25 minutes being in an extended queue is never really that much fun but the views that you get with the haunted mansion one it's almost worth it kind of sad the interactive queue is closed right now oh, this is one of the best additions to a magic kikum ride but oh well I'm not sure when or how I will ever get used to doing this. Just walking in. No stretching room, just walk through it. It's already stretched out. Random little Magic Kingdom fact, there is a Mr. Toad right here in the cemetery, pet cemetery, right outside of Haunted Mansion. They put it there after the Winnie the Pooh adventure took over the same spot that Mr. Toad was in before. So the park just closed. I didn't have enough time to get to the end of the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train queue because the park closed in 30 seconds and I was in front of the Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, so I just got in line. But this attraction also has another Mr. Toad uh, reference in it. I think it's Mr. Toad signing over the deed to Owl. Let's see if we can try and find it when we go on. If you ask me, he'll never reach that. Okay, I think it's over here on the left hand side and right there. Thanks so much for joining me today. If they ever did a Guardians of the Galaxy Winnie the Pooh crossover and Groot went to Winnie the Pooh, would his name change to Twiglet? See you all next time.